Good morning and welcome to a brand new episode. Do, let's face both of us, hey, and try. Good morning, Good morning and welcome to a brand new episode. It's an exciting one, this one. Very We're exciting. on our way to Cox. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still waking up. Mm, I feel like I've got morning breath and we're like here. No, you're good. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Could be far worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this episode, we're basically going to take you on a ride to our second camp out mm. down at Coffs Harbour, New South Wales, which I'm pretty bloody pumped about. Um, before we get there, though, we've got a couple things to do. When we sold the previous caravan, we had like a PVC tube on the back of it, and I totally forgot it was even there. And my fire stick was in there, and I need a new one. The beloved fire stick that yeah. uh, has been gone for some time now. Yeah. I, I wanted it just the other week. I was like, oh, no, it's in the caravan. So um, many memories, so many things, well, moments and yeah. things attached to that, that stick. We've done so much with it. It's, it's gone it right the way around Australia, so. Yeah. Well, what not is. right the way halfway because we tried to take it on a plane and couldn't remember and I had to get a new one. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. well, there you go. So it's not it's half of Australia. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's at Burley Head. So we're stopping there this morning. Um, and then we're going on to Tweed Heads to pick up, oh, excuse me, a few more giveaways, um, recycled mats. Mm. We got a we got, got a pretty good list of giveaways on this um yeah. on this camp out, so pretty excited about that. We've got navigator, it's Caron Farm, recycled mats, anaconda, the fifth Sirocco, season, fifth season. There's there's quite a bit. It's cool. And it was not really that planned to be honest. It was quite spontaneous. Other people saying, Yeah, we'll be a part of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's what kind of look at what thing? thing. What thing? This no, that's it. Where? There. Oh, there's a fly. Yeah, there's a fly on the roof. It's a stingless bee. He's a stingless bee. He can stay. He's all right. They make honey and they help the world go around. He's all right, Jack. You eat your brekkie. Eat your brekkie. Keep eating. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All the brands that want to get involved and um, be a part of it. Yeah, no, I think the cool thing about this camp out is it's it's not only just bringing followers and people that you know follow our journey and whatnot it's about creating a community yeah. of you know traveling people like-minded people like-minded people no matter if you own a business or you're just traveling around or you're just someone that lives in the area so mm. it's it's really just bringing everybody together just to have a good time create memories and just have fun yeah. basically it's so. one thing it's one thing to watch youtube and watch people having a great time on youtube but if you go camping on a weekend like why not go meet all the other people that also watch youtube or are on youtube like we're all doing the same thing you know we all have the same values and that's what this was all about in the first place was like let's meet each other and you know create something out. special yeah it's because that, that was that was a big thing for us when we first started and what we learnt as a caravan, a new caravan, it was just the amount of people that that are around Australia and in different places and campsites and all over. And they Australia. care so much about each other and have like lifelong friends and stuff, eh? Like, oh, totally. It's like so many times that we've caught up with people, and probably a good eighty percent of them we still stay in touch with. Some of our best mates are from on the road. Totally. We keep in contact on the socials. We're always sending messages. It's just a really cool community, and we wanted to really make that bigger and better but um we're going to say goodbye to the last bit of family here yeah. which is Rach and trav we're currently still at their house hang on yeah so we got something very special and very different happening here it sounds weird but we're going to put a plate in my sister's compost so she's got really really good compost it's been going for years and it yep. goes in as food and comes out as soil so we want to see these are supposed to take up to three months to disappear entirely so we're going to chuck it in our compost and see what happens like um, good old big old style you got to test it to yeah what they recommend is it so. compostable let's find out yeah so i'm at my sister's compost she uses it all the time um she's actually just emptied a heap of soil out the bottom of it which is pretty cool it's full of worms it's actually like really good around this area so i'll show you where i'm going to put it um, and then she's gonna send me like a video or a picture so when she finds it at the bottom which is where the soil comes out hopefully we'll be able to see the remnants of it or you know see it being like a soft plate or something she's gonna get some photos or some footage for me and I'll show you when that happens What she was explaining to me is this tool here, you kind of swirl it all the way down to the bottom and then pull it upwards. And 
that aerates all the soil that's in there. And then under here, there's actually two doors. So she's just emptied it to use some soil. But under here, it's hard to see, but like all of this soil that's here, this is what it'll turn into. Look at all the bugs in there. It's so active right now. So fingers crossed it works. So all this matter here will eventually get to the bottom. She's saying she needs a bit more food in there at the moment, but they need to eat more, have more leftovers. What did you get? I went all out. All so we got, out? We got po poi balls. What? The LED stick again so the kids can do it. Um, my fire stick. Yeah, right. And fire light. Fire out. Because that burns slow. It's much better. And I feel like this week it'll come out a fair bit. I miss the poi balls. I really wanted to learn them more and I think we left them at home. I think they're in the storage shed. I was going to say, I think i only seen them once. Yeah, they're, um, they're not expensive, so it's alright. And they weigh nothing, so they can live under the bed. <laughs> this one, however, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to put probably a bag or something over the ends and just put it into the... That's what they should make for them, is like a, a fire yeah. stick bag. I should have had a look. Surely there'd have to be something out there. It'd have to be. If somebody hasn't come up with that idea, there's they an should. idea. <laughs> a canvas fire stick bag. You can see what's going on here. What did it say? Uh, I've just had someone bloody send me a message <laughs> from the, the weather bureau. Um, severe weather warning. There's uh, high winds, hail and heavy rain. Awesome. Perfect, perfect recipe for a, a camp out. <laughs> like we were driving in towards town, we're in Mooney Beach at the moment, and driving in there was no clouds, barely anything around. It was just one big like black cloud just hovering. On Coffs Harbour. Yeah, like right around Coffs Harbour. And we drove around the outside of it coming into Mooney, and it's obviously coming back out this way, and it's just, it's going to turn to absolute pop. <laughs> Ah. Let's go get some water and set up before it's late. We should just get a big funnel and catch all this. It'll be fine. No, no. We can't plan these things. It's the joys about being on the road. No. As much as you plan stuff, it doesn't mean it's always going to happen. This is why we don't plan anything anymore. For this, for this reason, exactly. All right, come no, on. Well, let's go get let's water. Go. Have you looked it up yet? No. <laughs> So we're, we've just been out having a look at Can you see his bum lighting up? Floating lights. Oh, he's going to fly away, I reckon. There's all these floating lights out the back of the van here and we've just found these little bugs. You can see those focusing Fire in there. Fireflies. Yeah, they're, they're bum right lights up. I'm going to turn this off. Right see, can... hey. see his light? The light just beaming out of his bum. <laughs> turn the light on again. His bottom is Maximus. Yeah, it's just him. There he is. That's crazy. <laughs> just a tiny little bug that does so much. Jack, 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 look. Do you see his bum lighting up? No, oh, you got a little bug. How cool is that? Do you see his bum when it lights up? Look. Ready? Where is he? Oh, is he going to do it? Oh, he stopped. Yeah, he stopped doing it. He might like you. They might do it when they're, they're not comfortable. There you go. <laughs> oh, you just turn him on. <laughs> How cool is that? That's really cool. That was like the coolest thing ever. Oh, did he do it again? Oh, where is he? Oh, you still yeah. got him? Look, he's still going. He's flashing. That was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. We haven't seen anything like that. Or I haven't personally for cool like ever. You don't want him? No. I'll hold him. <laughs> Thank you. He's upside down at the moment. There you go, his bum's gone. You can even see it in the light. Oh, he's upside, he's back up the right way. How weird is that?
some friendly chickens coming in to say hey. Oh, don't steal the shoes, mate. I got you on camera. Yeah, I'm watching you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, those two just there, that's Joey, a little young fella. They're with a family that's here at the moment, and I tell you what, these guys have just hit it off completely. They're two little bikes. Joey's actually got one that's uh, electric. Trick, and I tell you what, ever since Jack's seen it, he's just been absolutely frothing over it ever since. So they've been really good sharing and uh, swapping back and forth between Jack's bike and his bike. But uh, I tell you what, it's very hard not to buy one because they're actually selling them here in Coffs Harbour. Uh, they're about a thousand bucks, so a little bit pricey, but for the enjoyment that Jack would get out of it would just be insane. So maybe we'll leave Coffs Harbour with a new bike. We don't know yet. We'll see. What's going on, Joey? I, I, I'm riding with him. You're going to ride with him? You got his bike, yeah. You're doing really well swapping out, aren't you? And sharing. Oh, here he comes, the speed demon himself. Yeah. Jeez, he's getting good. <laughs> he's only got his bike Yeah. He's pretty crazy, isn't he? Morning, guys. How are you? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so we've got a few turning up today and then we've got a couple more coming on Friday so there's definitely it's going to be a good crowd here we've taken up most of this sort of back corner um, and everyone's just sort of found their own spaces and having a good time so it's been this is day two now we had a bit of a communal fire last night it was a bit of a poor effort on my end to to get the the bonfire going I'm being a little conservative because we've got to go and get firewood from the other side of the fence here and bring it over so I think I might start adding to that as the uh, the day goes on and slowly get the fire bigger and bigger because there's quite a few people here and there's gonna be more and we want to try and have the big enough fire for everybody it's about the one we one thing we learned from the last camp out was trying to have the right sized fire to sort of satisfy everyone because you don't really want anyone sort of missing out and it's a great way to bring everybody together and sort of do that socializing side of things so we're on day two of our camp out now. Um, as you can see behind us, there is there's... a lot of caravans going on. We've yeah. got a pretty good crowd at the moment. We've got a heap of cars. Um, we're actually rounding the trips up this morning to go and do a bit of a day trip, yeah, which we're I'm going pretty excited to about. Bellingen um, to a place called Promised Lands, which Promise is like Lands, a yeah. swimming hole um, and waterfalls and things like that, and then onto the pub. Yeah, so, style. oh yeah, it's kind of cool because it's it's good enough for a, a large amount of people with heaps of cars and. Uh, just to be able to get out and do something for the day because it's nice to be able to go out for a day for a few yeah. hours and then come back to camp instead of just sitting around camp all day mm. it's I don't know it gets a little old but yeah. it's nice to know that you've done something for the day so I'm so pretty keen. For anyone who's been following along with the Coffs camp out or you're looking at coming um, obviously the weather's been an issue so we're not sure what yeah. the weekend's going to look like and we kind of had all these plans to do over the weekend but we brought them forward so now it's yeah. Thursday. Um, we've got four days left of this camp out, or oh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So three full days left of the camp out, but we're doing yeah. stuff today just in case everything goes to pop, poop, as you call it, <laughs> whatever you say. Poop. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll take you along for the ride and show you what you get up to. And um, make sure you join our Big Oz camp out crew yes. if you want to know about these events and when we've got them coming up. I'll pop a link up at the top now so you can see it and um, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I'm keen. It's going to yeah. be a good day. Bloody good weather. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Off we go. Like every kid's up here. Chicken food. Chicken food. Chicken food. Oh yeah, well don't use that in the car, eh? We're not leading the convoy today. We've actually got Wayne and Jess up front. Yeah. So the reason for that, uh, they actually live just up the road at Emerald Beach. So we kind of came up with a plan today of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And it's nice having that local knowledge and um, 
oh, someone who's done tracks help. before. Yeah. But I'd be nervous coming down here with such a big convoy behind us and not <laughs> knowing what's ahead. So I feel really good about this. It's a lot um, of added stress to someone that has no idea. Yeah. If you have to turn around or there's a dead end or there's something you can't get through, like that's a lot of cars to turn around. I mean, We're doing a pretty easy dirt track. It's just kind of a shortcut road, but it gets everyone off road as well. So they feel like they've been in the bush a bit. bit of a tea, um, right? yeah. And then, yeah, on to the Bellingen. Keen. It's good. It's a perfect day. Yeah. Like, everything's lining up. It's good. It's really cool. Are you excited, Christopher? Yes, I am. <laughs> are you excited, Jada? Yes, I am. Jack, are you excited, Jack? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Are you excited, Sean? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're the last car. Got a copy? No, the second last is the last one that's on, I think, at the moment. Oh, is it? Oh, second last? I don't think the last car can hear you, Chris. Yeah, Roger. We're third last. We've got two behind us. Yeah. Oh, Roger. Who we got in the third last? Tony and Kathy. Right, I guess. We'll keep you on uh, on channel and just see how he's travelling. If anyone's struggling, just give us a give us a hoy. Don't worry. You don't leave anyone in the bush. So we're at the Bellingen pub. No, the Federal, the Federal Hotel. Federal Hotel, so yeah. yeah. We decided to come here first before we went out on the tracks because it was getting on at about 12 o'clock. And I could only imagine there would be a few hungry tummies rumbling in the cars and whatnot. So we thought we'd come here first, get a good feed, and then we're going to go and hit the tracks after. So we got basically all afternoon to go out and yeah, smash the tracks, which we're pretty excited about. Pretty much you went past eight, so I just get that. Well, what I get? It's okay. I'm burped. <laughs> <laughs> no, so we went past the server and I did a head count so I could tell the pub that we were coming. So we hadn't actually made a booking and there's 45 of us here, kids included. There's so a lot of us. 17 <laughs> cars. Yeah, and, um, we've a taken tiny, a tiny little country town. Yeah. Like we've taken up half the town, I feel. Yeah, we've um, taken the whole top balcony of this pub and pulled every single table together just to get this area. So everyone's here having a good time. We're all having a feed. Yeah. Um, it's actually worked out really, really well for it's, a like, spur yeah, of the moment. It was plan. spontaneous as hell this morning because we, we sort of had plans, but then we brought things forward and then we've just. Yeah. Lucky there's a couple of locals behind. We've got a couple of locals in the back here. Yeah, out and that. So, um, yeah, thanks to these guys because we wouldn't have really known what's around here because we're it's so new to us. Yeah. We're tourists here. So, thanks to these guys and all the locals that have been at the camp out uh, just to give us a bit of a heads up on where to go. But I reckon we're going to get back and there's going to be even more people there. There was quite a few turning up today. We so. still have more turning up today and we've got a couple turning up tomorrow as yeah. well. That I've, I've got a few messages. So, we're learning, all happening. We're learning all the time though. Oh, totally. I reckon we figured out exactly how many days to do it now and to have an agenda every day. So, it's really yeah. good. Next one's going to be like epic. Oh, it's, it's going to get bigger and better, yeah. so yeah, we're learning, okay. we're definitely learning. Let's have some lunch. <laughs> Let's do it. Can I get everyone? Hello? <laughs> Can I get everyone to give a wave or a cheers, please? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Yay! Cheers, cheers everybody! Yay. So we've just pulled up and there's like this incredible little bridge and it's got the clearest of clearest water. It does look absolutely freezing, but I'm gonna see if anyone's brave enough to get in. I'm brave enough. Oh, you always say you're brave enough. I'm brave enough. I'm I'll go enough. in, I'll go in. Hours later, still hasn't got in because she's freaking out because it's cold. We've got everybody out here at the moment. We've all parked up in a car park here, so surprisingly we can fit about 15 cars in the car park, which is nice. But um, yeah, this is spectacular. This reminds me a bit of New Zealand, actually, of the water and the color and stuff. Very, very cool. Definitely worth coming down and checking out, that's for sure. <laughs> Who's gonna go head first? My under. Is there, a, is there a prize for someone that... Go on, go head head under. Hold up. I'll give you five bucks. No, I don't want money. <laughs> uh, not for this. Go on, Aiden. You can do it. Go on, 
on, you can do it. I've got faith in you. Go, 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 go! Woohoo! Yes! I'm not going in. I don't want to go. Alright, Jada. Oh, well. I'm about to go with them. So unfortunately, Sean's still sitting in the car, waiting for Jack to have a bit of a sleep. He fell asleep as soon as we left the bloody pub, but he was absolutely just out of it. Like it was about three hours past what his little midday sleep is. So he's uh, having a bit of a snooze in the back of the car. Hopefully it's uh, not too long and Sean can come out with a quick look or I'll go back and swap out with her anyway. But I tell you what, this is absolutely spectacular. Like this, we were just talking before with some of the, uh, the guys here that Mines you a lot of up near Cairns, like the big Crystal Creek and the little Crystal Creek. Just super clear water in like a jungle setting, rainforest. It's just, it is cool. It's very, very, very cool. But um, I, I, I'm very happy that we've come up here and check this out. Because we got told actually a couple of times if we got nothing else to do or the weather does turn to crap, come up here and check this out. Because you can come up here even if it's raining, like it's still going to be a spectacular sort of spot. And uh, it's definitely delivered. If you're, if you're in the area, highly recommend coming up and checking this out. It's a little shame that we're here probably later. If it was probably a bit, I don't know, early in the morning, a bit hotter with the sun out, might have been tempted to go on the water, but it is very, very fresh. Kids were in there before. It took them probably 15 minutes to get their heads under, but at least they're out there having a crack, eh? Hey? There you go. Stop. Train, stop. Stop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All good. <laughs> it's all good. Did I move the moment? Uh, just walk in front right where you left out. That's how I'm going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> So we're en route back home after stopping at the Never Never Creek, um, just outside of Bellingen. That was stunning, like oh, stunning. Amazing. So good, hey? I, I think I said stunning about 16,000 times, so we can turn that into a drinking game if you wanted to. Yeah, so go, go back, go go back and watch it and then see how plastered you get. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it was, it was, it was just literally mind blowing. Stunning. Yeah, stunning. That's another shot. <laughs> Stunning! No. Stunning! We're on the way home now. We're going through Pine Creek Way, which is kind of like a dirt road all the way the back. So it's like forestry roads. Yeah, yeah. So, so they're, they're maintained, but they're dirt. Yeah. So it's like a really cool, cruisy way to sort of get back to camp. Without being off-road sort of thing. Yeah, it's good for everybody, especially when we've got about what, 15 odd cars behind us. So yeah. It works out well. But it's been a really good day. I kind of feel like everyone who's come out today has ended up with like a um, sticker up the side of their car, which is basically mud, because we went through some mud holes. <laughs> so everyone knows if you've been out today, you've got mud on your car. But um, yeah, it's been really good. So we'll go back to camp, um, set up a fire, have another evening with everyone. And um, we're gonna go I'm meet. loving these camp outs. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. It's so good. I was just gonna say, we got more people to meet when we get back to camp. Yeah. Because there's more people coming down today. And we've been out like majority of the day. I think we left yeah. at about, what was it, about nine o'clock or something. We said we were gonna um, be back by about two or three and it's, it's four, four o'clock. <laughs> True big old style. So uh, there'll be, a, a big group of cars coming back covered in dirt and stuff so it's going to look like a, a typical day out with big odds. People will be like, oh they've had fun. Yeah, so but, yeah. Um, yeah, no keen for tonight and so far it's been absolutely amazing. Oh, I cut and you off there. Hey? I cut you off, oh, sorry. Oh, all good. But um, yeah, just like, this is not stopping anytime soon. No, this We're, has been really cool and yeah. next time around we've got really good plans for what we want to do and how we want to do it. It's, we're just learning every time we do it like oh, and how yeah, to totally. make it better. Yeah. So if you've been to the first couple, by the time you come to another one it's going to be like min. John, you got your Chinese work boots on? Yep. <laughs> Didn't we
Tell Joey when you're going to come out. Hey, that duckie's on there. What? No, they're on my bed. They are bad. They're on mine, they are bad. Bacon in there. Yeah, well, 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 daddy cooked some for me. Yeah. Yeah, my mommy's cleaning the dishes now. Yeah. And my, your mommy cleaned the dishes? My dog biscuits. It's like the cutest thing ever. Joey came out and he's just standing out the front, like, waiting. I said, Jack's just got to get dressed. So he opened the window so he could have the chat. I was like, Get the camera out, get the camera out. It's so cute. Like, he actually communicates He's having now, a full you know? conversation. Yeah, it's, it's really like, cute. It's really weird because we don't get to see it all that often. No, like, everything stopped. I'm right in the middle of doing coffee and I'm like, everything stops. Everything stops because I want to watch this. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, what the boy mother. Yeah, the boy wheels. Who is it? Joey. Joey? Yeah, it's coming back. Who? Who's Joey? Um, Sweet. Is it your friend? Yes, yeah, <clears throat> it's my mind friend. Yeah, it's your friend. Yeah. You guys are really good friends. And we're back. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. You, you do the clip, Jack. The clip. Oh, what? That oh, one. That. Yeah, you push that one. Uh. And I just push, yep, and then lift it. Well done. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> So something that we've done this time around which was really cool, we actually got in touch with someone who was local in the area, Coffs Coast Van Way. His name is Michael and he offered to come out and spend his afternoon here and doing some weighing while we've been here. As you know, we're like really avid about people learning about weights and understanding how it works and that. So this has been a really cool opportunity for some people that are new to caravanning or new setups and that to be able to get their setup weighed. So um, he's come out this afternoon, it's Friday. We've got another full day left of the camp out. Luckily, this is the last day of what's going to be hopefully good weather. You might even be able to hear the wind right now, but um, well, you can see all my hair going crazy. But um, yeah, thank you so much to Michael for coming out. I'll chuck a link in the description below. So if you're in the Coffs area and you want to get weighed as well, um, he's, yeah, he's been really great. We're really happy that he's come along. So one of the things that's really cool about this property, you just come in through this driveway here and the owner's house is here. This is Sharon's place. And you just drive straight past, you've got a little reception there. It's a gravel road the whole way in and it's on a hill. So like what we've experienced this weekend, we were really worried about weather, but being where we are, the little bit of rain you get, it just all runs away really quickly. It's actually quite dry. It's been really nice. Um, up by the house here as well, all the kids like to come up here and play. There's a trampoline and like every animal possible. Well, not every animal, but there's definitely chickens and geese and there's horses and that. Like Jada has been away from the caravan all day. Like what's this? What is this? That's called a camera. You can't eat it, mate. <laughs> nice try, though. What is this? It's got a fluffy top. You're not gonna eat it. What are you doing, mate? You're a good looking chicken. We're not a chicken, you're a rooster. This 
So I'm not actually sure if Chris has mentioned yet what the name of this place is, but we've been staying at Coffs Harbour Camping and Four Drive. So she backs straight onto the state forest and right out the back you can go four driving. Although we haven't done much this trip, it's just weather related, you know, and we don't totally know where everyone's at. You can't take a convoy of 20 cars out and hope that it all goes well when you don't know the tracks quite intimately. So we haven't done that this time, but the camping's been awesome. Um, for bookings here, the best way to go about that is actually call Sharon Direct and make a booking through her. And she has firewood available as well for $15 a bag, which is all pre-cut, really good hardwood. We've had the best fires while we've been here, the best coals, like good for camp cooking and that. And um, just the location in general, it's up on the top of the hill. You know, any rain that's around, like the ground just dries out really quickly. It's been good. It's been really, really good. So I highly recommend if you're in the area and you're looking for someone to stay, this is a good one. Uh, but first I just want to say like massive thank you to you all being here. This is now the second camp out event. So we did one in Queensland and didn't really know what was going to happen and figured out that we've got like this really cool community and like we need to harness that. Like, you know, everyone here will have found a friend. Everyone will have found someone that they now get along with and someone that they can, you know, keep in touch with and go camping with hopefully. Or if not, you'll at least maybe come to another camp out one day when we're near you guys again. Yeah. No, it's been incredible. Like just the, the support and the, the following and YouTube and just the power of YouTube is just incredible. So what it does. Yeah, it's just um, just looking out here now, like there's so many people here just because of what we've organized and stuff and just doing like minded things and whatnot. So yeah, thank you very much guys and really, really, really appreciate the support and Mom! we couldn't do couldn't do this stuff without you guys, so thank you very much. There's a few brands that have kind of helped us out. We've got who we got, Quran, um, Fifth Season, who do like flavoured stuff. Um, Sirocco, Navigator, we've got Recycle Mats as well and they're here as well, JJ and New and Oscar, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, and Anaconda as well. So we're really lucky we work with a heap of cool brands and after we did this last catch up, everyone was just like, can we be a part of it? Hey. Yeah, no, it's been absolutely uh, amazing. Just the, again, the support of brands and stuff and one other want to jump on board with this sort of stuff. So yeah, it's a big shout out to those guys as well because we like giving back to you guys as much as uh, you, you give to us. So yeah, this is uh, just a really cool, fun way to sort of show how much that you guys do for us. And uh, we want to show you how much love that we want to give back to you. So. Have you has everyone got a raffle ticket? Yeah. Yeah. So next up, let's go for the Sirocco. Sirocco fan. J61, Donna and Brendan. Oh. <laughs> 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 So, um, Sirocco said that they wanted this to be for our coolest fan. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, we've got Carol and Tony. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I think it's Hazel now, was it? Yeah. Oh, who is no it? Comments, yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> oh, that worked out perfectly. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, is she gonna read this and no? Like, yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yay! <laughs> So, hang on. It's just started raining, we were just about to press record. Typical. Yeah. He <laughs> woke up finally. Yeah, he did. He was screaming, he's like, Mike, you want to go to the water? He's like, yeah. Hey, legends. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. If you need more of a Big Oz fix, head over to our website, bigozexplorers.com, for merch, information on our setup, 
places we've been, recipes, links to our socials, and much more. We look forward to seeing you for a new adventure next week. Cheers, guys.